Today I'm going to introduce the Riemann Lebesgue lemma. So, the Riemann Lebesgue lemma states that the re the Fourier coefficient of a two pi periodic function, which is integrable on the closed interval negative pi to pi, converges to zero as n tends to infinity. In fact, this interval here can be replaced by other closed interval, and you will see the reason by repeating the proof that I'm going to uh, do. So, let's uh, define what that function means first. So, let a0, a1, a2 up to an be a partition of the closed interval negative pi to pi. A step function is a function defined as sx equal to sj for x inside the half open interval aj, aj plus 1 and s negative pi is equal to s0 where sj are constants. The step function is not very elegant. So, to express the step function more compactly, we will introduce the characteristic function chi e for e which is subset of r and chi e x is defined to be 1 if x is inside e and 0 if x is not inside e. So, you can readily see that the step function can be expressed in this form, where i0 is equal to the closed interval negative pi to a0, and ij is equal to aj, aj plus 1 for j greater than or equal to 1. So why are we introducing step function? In fact, we are going to prove two facts. The first fact is that the Fourier coefficient of the step function will test to zero as uh, n tends to infinity. And the second is that any two pi periodic and integrable function will be close to a step function. So how can we prove these two facts? First of all, we will prove that the Fourier coefficient of a uh, step function in fact satisfies that the a n absolute value and b n absolute value should be smaller than or equal to c over n for all n greater than or equal to 1. So if this holds, then we let n tends to infinity and apply the sandwich theorem to conclude that a n and b n tends to 0. So how can we prove it? First of all, we introduce the step function here and we previously, previously stated that the uh, step function can be written in this form so we compute uh, the pi and a n absolute value and this is equal to the absolute value of the integral from negative pi to pi s x cosine n x and the second line here we just copy this thing down here and apply the definition of the uh, chi we get that uh, it is equal to uh, j from 0 to n minus 1 integral aj aj plus 1 of the function sj cosine nx dx and after computing this integral we guess that it is equal to 1 over n absolute value of j equal to 0 and to n minus 1 sj times psi n aj plus 1 minus psi n aj and apply the triangle inequality we get that it is equal to 2 times the uh, sum from j equal to 0 to n minus 1 of absolute value of sj times 1 over n both sides by pi we get that the absolute value of a n should be smaller than or equal to c over n, where c is given by such expression. So, the similar argument holds for b n, and therefore we are done with the first lemma.